A ticket that was 11 years old came back to haunt a Pembroke driver looking to renew his license. He really didn't have any choice but to pay the fine a second time. So then he reached out to the I-team's call for action. Kind of ticked me off. That's how Ronald Castana described his mood when he recently tried to renew his license. My wife checked it on the computer and stuff, and she found out I had a ticket. They said I owe him $100. And I had this ticket on it, and it was dated from 2007. An 11-year-old ticket the Castanas had paid, and that ticket never came up when Ronald renewed his license four years ago. This time, the registry needed proof it had been paid. Who keeps a canceled check from proof of something you paid 11 years ago? In order to keep the license from expiring, the couple paid the $100. They said they couldn't do anything about it. Then they reached out to the I-team's call for action. Once we contacted the registry, Ronald and Becky got a call that same day. But they didn't do that until you guys contacted them. According to the registry, the court no longer had a record of the ticket or the payment causing the whole problem. They also sent out a refund of $100, which did not come as a big surprise to Ronald. I thought I was right like always and they were wrong so that was that <laughs> Ronald knew he yeah. was right I knew I was right hey the registry tells us this does seem to be an isolated incident it has nothing to do with the recent switch to the real ID system yeah. and they're happy because that's what I tell my wife by the way <laughs> I was always right You're always right. <laughs> do you have an issue that you need help with reach out to the I team's call for action 617-787-7070 or just email us at WBZ call for action at CBS.com we have much more